Uh, we trained our model to run 50 epochs and uh, using the model of feet, um, trained our data using the data set, the training data set. And uh, now we have the batch uh, with the batch of batch says of 32. So it has finished training. So we can evaluate our model and uh, we can check uh, for the scores and then we can even plot uh, to check the performance of our model using the accuracy, the validation accuracy and the loss and so on. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to evaluate our model and we're going to evaluate our model using the test data set that it hasn't been trained with this uh, with this model. So we're going to use the test data set to evaluate our model. So we're going to evaluate the model using the model.evaluate. And what we're going to evaluate, we're evaluating this model um, on the test data set. And this is the data set that we already defined. So I'm going to start in a value code score so that we can print the scores and uh, you, you can see this. So let's print the, run this. It can take some time. Uh, I'll let it run for some time. Then when it's done, we can uh, we can have a look at it. Um. So we we have uh, we have seen uh, um, how it uh, the model has been evaluated on this uh, test data set. So we can print the scores to actually get the the loss and the accuracy of our model. So let me just print the scores so that you can see. Um, get our scores. So you see our scores gives us, this is the accuracy of our model and this is the loss. So let's, okay, we can have a, evaluate our model because we wanna, uh, we wanna check the validation and the, and the loss and how, how, how the, actually the performance of our model. So we can evaluate this history parameter. Let me show you something. So history, let me just call it and see. Yeah. So this callbacks. Now we, we can we can check what are Keras history callbacks, and uh, what are the parameters, what is the keys, and so on. So like you can do that. So from the documentation. So this is the Keras callbacks. So we're going to use these parameters to evaluate our model to plot the graphs and so on. So you can see the parameters. First, you can print the history parameters. So you, we can print that. Uh, so print these parameters. And then uh, we can also print, you see it tells us the variables, the epochs and the states and so on. You can also print uh, the dictionary keys the keys and um, so if we print the keys, so let's print that. You see, it tells us loss, accuracy, validation loss, and validation accuracy. So this is the first parameter is the loss, then the validation accuracy, and uh, validation, I mean the accuracy, the validation loss, and the validation accuracy. So these are the ones that we're going to use when we want to like uh, evaluate our models to to get uh, to see how how actually our model performed with the data that it was given. So and uh, one thing else is that uh, after getting these parameters, we can be able to know maybe check the history, check uh, 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 accuracy, and so on. So for instance, if I want to. And this is a list, let, let me show you that. For instance, if I want to print uh, this one, one of these parameters, for instance, I'm going to use history, the history and the metrics actually. History. So for a case, I want to just check um, the accuracy. Let me start with accuracy. 
So this is a list because there are 50 apples. Let me print this and you can see it. Um, history dot history. Okay, I can print that. So you see, this is a this is a list with a lot of numbers. You can also check the length, and there is and this is just accuracy. For instance, it started with a with the accuracy, let's say zero point six two, and so on, till the so you can check even the length of this. So let me just we can print its length and see how. It, So this is a list, a Python list, and it has 50 or 50 values. And the same for the other validation accuracy and so on. So we want to plot this uh, accuracy and see how it does uh, the accuracy and the validation accuracy, as well as the loss and the validation loss. So first of all, I'm going to define this. So let's say accuracy, it's going to be this. And uh, then we have to get the validation and validation, validation accuracy. Let's just say validation act equals to, but for our case here, this is going to be this is going to be this, right? And. Uh, the same for the loss and the validation loss. Okay. So also for the loss, it's going to be, uh, I'm just going to copy it actually. So this and this. But, Loss. It's going to be this value. We want to get these values actually. And uh, for losses, we're going to print this loss. So the next thing we're going to like use Matplotlib, we're going to run this. And then we're going to use now Matplotlib to, to plotting, to plot uh, these. And we want to show you how the validation and the accuracy, how they, we want, uh, how our training was, and how you can uh, just measure the performance of this. And I'm going to use Matplotlib. So this is just a simple Matplotlib function. So we're going to just plot, plot this. So we're just going to copy the function to. So yeah, so this is just a simple Matplotlib uh, function that uh, Matplotlib to plot uh, the graphs. So I can run this, it, uh, you can plot the training accuracy as well as the validation accuracy, and the legend and the title. So let's run this and you can see. And see how our, our model has performed. And yeah, because there are 50 epochs, so th this is how, and the saves and the, so this is how you can see it say with an accuracy of 0 0.6 and it went to around 0 0.9. So our model is actually really performing really nice. And uh, you can also plot the loss, just uh, plot the validation loss. This is a validation loss, training and validation loss actually. So I'm going to just to plot it side by side. So I'm going to run it. So you can see this is the training and uh, validation accuracy, and this is the loss. So it's, uh, the loss was, is decreasing, and uh, the validation is also this. So this is just to show you how you can train your models of these epochs. So you can uh, actually you can use your values. And this is the way uh, you will practice. You can choose different values, explore different, um, uh, you can use the other op optimizers, how you're going to stack your layers. So you should do that as a practice to make sure that uh, you see how your model performs. Okay, so this is how we have uh, visualized, uh, we have used uh, the, the history callback 
the Keras historical bat to plot uh, uh, plotting the accuracy as well as the loss graphs. So the next thing we're going to do is that, okay, we'll fine, we've done this, so we can move to pre making predictions. So the next thing we're doing is uh, we're going to now to make predictions. Now we want to see our images, if if the model has really done a good job, um, like when you want to predict it, any any other image, can it, uh, can it really uh, do the job?